This is Drifter, a lovely 57 foot traditional style narrowboat built in 1995 by Evans & Sons. She's in lovely condition. She was repainted in 2013. The weather's rubbish today, so it doesn't really do her justice. But if I wait for the sunshine, I might be here till the spring. But the paintwork's lovely. She was blacked in April 2017. She's just been serviced. And a very tidy boat. The cratch cover's in really good condition. There's a glazed panel on each side as well. And on we go to a very good size well deck, 4 feet 11 inches long. There's a diesel tank there, that's for the diesel stove that's in the saloon. And either side, these bench seats have unusual storage access, mostly they're from the top of the locker, but on each of these, it's from the side. It's quite nice. The front doors are glazed, a bit of stained glass in there. And into the boat we go. She's very homely, pine tongue and groove above the gunnels, ash face ply below. The floor is a mixture of laminate and carpet. The sofa here is actually a leather sofa, turns into a sofa bed. But there's a spread on it at the moment. And good storage on this boat, you'll see as we go through. It's an 18 inch television there over this cupboard. And good headroom on the boat, six foot six. And just on the starboard side here, I don't know if you call this a wardrobe or a hanging locker, but it's floor to ceiling, it's very good space. Hang wet clothes, put ironing boards in, hoovers, whatever you like. Sleep in there if you like. And on the other side, there's a, another couple of good sized cupboards, and there, there's the stereo. That's a JVC radio CD player. One of two stereos on board, actually. There's one in the engine room for when you're motoring. You'll see that when we get through. So, yeah, slider opening windows in the saloon. That's unusual. Be a very airy boat when it's warm, because there are slider windows in the galley as well. There's a bar above the stove for hanging wet towels and things. And a couple of collapsible tables there in the corner. Large mirror on the wall and into the galley we go. The saloon, by the way, was 13 feet 4 inches long and the galley 6 foot 9. 12 volt fridge with an ice box, that's a shoreline. There's the slider opening window I mentioned. And some very good storage space in the kitchen here. The cooker's next to it, that's a spin flow caprice. Four hob burner, oven and separate grilling. On the other side is all preparation surface and storage. Good bank of cupboards and drawers here. Won't open them all, but just give you a flavour of how much room there is to put things away. So into the bathroom we go, walk through bathroom, and on the port side here some very good shelving space. Next to that is the loo, that's a royal porter potty. All nicely tiled in here. Feels quite modern, and there's the shower, a very good size corner unit. And opposite that is the ceramic corner sink. The bathroom is six foot five inches long and leads into the bedroom. Good size room, this, just short of 10 feet long. The bed itself is six foot three inches by four feet wide with storage under all of it. There are six drawers here. And space behind those if you lift up the mattress. Good size room, there's a dressing area, I'll call it, at the bottom there, next to the wardrobe. Good size wardrobe, half hanging wardrobe at the bottom and shelves on the top. I can't remember if I mentioned the head height in this boat. It's, it's very good, six foot six inches tall. Let's turn around and go into the aft cabin. 
I suppose technically it's the engine room, I'm calling it the workshop. There's so much room in here. It's just over eight feet long. The engine's under there, that's a beta marine. Very easily accessible. And the storage for your tools and navigation equipment everywhere in here. A bank of cupboards on this side. Three of those. The batteries are in that red box there. Easily accessible and some more very useful cupboard space here. Spare belts, filters. There's, there's a lot been left on this boat. It's all going with the boat. There's also a brand new generator below that cupboard. An 800 watt work zone. I think that's the Aldi brand, but I'm not an expert. But it's brand new and unused. And there's the pigeon box. Adds a bit more light to this room. The inverter's on the wall there, that's a one kilowatt more power. And now we go onto the stern deck. Give you a quick view from the helmsman's position. Let's just have another walk through. She's a lovely boat, she's been used as a liverboard and an extended holiday boat. So she's fit for purpose. Everything's on board that you need to go. Navigation equipment, mooring pins, windlasses, pole, plank, hooks, fenders, ropes. It's all here. At 57 foot, of course, she's a go anywhere boat as well. You're not restricted by length. The, by the northern canals. There we are, out we go. Mucky day, lovely boat. For further information, fully downloadable brochure and further photographs, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.